Okay, well here's just kind of a, a mock-up of the entire suspension. These aren't the final fasteners, but this is what I've been using to try and just make sure everything fits together right. But uh, same setup, You've got a super bell spindle here, You've got your bearing on the bottom, king pin on the way to the top, felt tip washer in between the king pin and the uh, fitting here to keep the grease in. Notice the pins in, I've got this bolt on there at the moment, or this nut, but it's not all the way pulled through. So when it's actually pulled all the way through, it'll stick out a little bit and then you can put a cap on here and that'll act as a stop for the spindle when it turns. Um, here you can actually see the a little bit more of the axle. Uh, bat wing that's actually on here. I've got the polished uh, perch bolts and then I've uh, just got some basic hardware here holding together the uh, the uh, tie rod ends. Uh, in this case it's just a rod end uh, that's uh, set up both right hand and left hand threads on both ends uh, to allow, it's a four link. So these bars actually run down the entire length of the chassis and uh, attach there. So the four length actually just kind of keeps the whole thing move, axle from turning. So it keeps this part from moving back and forth really. Uh, well, and uh, the spring that you see right here, notice there's an elliptical leaf spring that's running up off the bottom that's got a uh, shackle on it and that shackle's got a bolt that runs through the actual front of the axle so uh, and then this little guy here you'll see off of the the uh, shackle is uh, another linkage it goes up to a friction shock so this is the actual shock for the the front suspension and uh, there's a little bit of phenolic material in here it's the pressure on the friction between the uh, this piece here and this piece that determines how uh, what your ratio of uh, uh, absorption is on the shock absorber. So, um, only other thing down here is uh, there's a pedestal. That's a mount for the steering box. The steering box will be set up right here. It's a Corvair reverse box. It'll come down, and then there'll be another rod that'll go all the way down, and will connect to the top of this spindle, which uh, gets me to. Uh, a little different steering arm setup than what we saw in the previous video. This one actually is a slingshot style. You know, just imagine a rubber slingshot here. But uh, same thing, half inch twin thread uh, goes on top and then kind of looks like this. And that'll have a tie rod on the uh, rod that comes from the steering box. And uh, so when you turn the steering, it'll either pull or push on this spindle which will have this steering arm on the bottom of it like this uh, which will link up to uh, the steering rod that's running across the other side uh, that I saw in the previous video and that's uh, that's how you get your side steer. So that's the basic setup and uh, so now I just gotta get the right fasteners and uh, should be good to go but uh, that's pretty much the entire front suspension not too too much to it, it's pretty basic really so, got any questions, send me a comment on the blog and we'll go from there. Thanks.